mean, look, strange verdict. Um, this was a rape claim. It was a rape case all along, and the jury rejected that, but made other findings. So um, we'll obviously be appealing those other findings, but they rejected her rape claim, and she'd always claimed this was a rape case. So, so it's a little perplexing, but, um, you know, we move forward. Did you speak to Mr. Mr. Trump? Trump? And what did he tell you? We've spoken, uh, and we're ready to, you know, proceed to go forward. Obviously, you know, he's firm in his belief, as many people are, that he cannot get a fair trial in New York City, um, based on the jury pool. And um, I think one could argue that that's probably a, an accurate assessment, um, based on what happened today. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's something that, you know, we're very confident on the appellate issues here. Um, the Access Hollywood tape should not have come into this case. Some other things should have come into the case. I mean, we made many <coughs> motions that we thought would would create um, issues for appeal, and, and we're going to em employ them now. Um, you know, there were things that happened in this case that were beyond the pale. I mean, we made a mistrial motion and went through the trial because of some of the rulings and, and we believe a bias that was displayed by the court. Um, this judge been overturned already once by the Second Circuit in Carroll versus Trump, and we think he's going to be overturned a second time. Um, but in the meantime, we, uh, you know, we march forward. He was found not liable for the rape, and that's it. You know, the fact that Reed Hoffman, the Democratic financier, financed this case, and that was not something when Donald Trump was accused of making statements that this was a politically motivated um, claim, and the judge wouldn't let us go into that, and you know, it's uh, it's there are plenty of issues. At it you were you were so, complimented by not only the judge but opposing counsel. Um, how do you feel about that? I appreciate that. I mean, look, I have respect for for the opposing counsel in this case. Bert Kaplan's a great lawyer. Her team's great. And I appreciate that they compliment me. But you know, for me, it's just about. The results, and at the end of the day, while you know it was strange, uh, part of me was obviously very happy that Donald Trump was not granted a rapist. Um, I didn't think there should be any liability finding, so we'll pursue it. We'll pursue that. But Mr. Trump hasn't branded a sex abuser. How is that going to sit with him? That, that's what I just said about the appeal, right? Yeah. We're going to be appealing it, but she claimed all along that she had been raped by Donald Trump. That's what this case is all about. Can you talk about Shuggy Jim Carroll's hand? Can you his trial and not be testified? Yeah, this was a circus atmosphere. Um, and having him be here would be more of a circus. And again, what I said in the summation yesterday, you know, reigns true, um, holds true. It's that, you know, what more could he say other than I didn't do it? And he said that on the road here. He, you know, it's hard to prove a negative. Molly, I can say you stole my pen. Prove you didn't do it. How would you prove it? So you didn't do it, right? I mean, it's sort of where we're at. So, you know, it's 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 very simplistic to say, oh, he should have testified. He had nothing to say other than what he's already said on the road. So we talked a little bit about how perplexing the verdict was. Well, thanks for moving your statement. Uh, how does that play in the appeal, the fact that she did the right case all along? And yeah, I think it's uh, an inconsistent verdict, right? And um, it's something that obviously will be another issue for appeal. But Jim, the issue for the appeals were laid really months ago when, when things like, you know, Donald Trump's attempt to have the, the dress tested for DNA after they sent it into a lab and didn't come up with semen. I think that's something that was important. Um, the fact that the Reed Hoffman, the Democratic financier, you know, who Ms. Carroll was not candid about when she testified initially under oath in her deposition, um, you know, that should come into this case. The Access Hollywood tape should not have come into this case. There's a federal rule called 403 that balances out inflammatory and prejudicial things, and that certainly was one of them. So but there's plenty of issues to appeal. And uh, look, that's what happens, right? You know, we're we're in one sense gratified, and I know some people in this camp are very happy um, that, you know, the rape claim was rejected, but you know, I'm not, and uh, I am happy about that, certainly, but I'm not happy that he was found liable for anything whatsoever, because on the 70s, I didn't think he should have been. Put, put, put a stop in career. Uh, you know, he's strong. He's uh, he's ready to, to move forward. Um, he wants to fight this on appeal. Um, again, he was successful in one appeal before um, the second circuit with Judge Kaplan on Carol versus Trump, and he thinks he's going to be successful on the second one. But he's planning, you know, he's got a town hall tomorrow night, and he's just moving as he always does. Is this Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.